Um, thank you everybody for coming today. Welcome to the Bronzeville Artist Loft uh, Ribbon Cutting Ceremony. My name is Yannette Garcia with Three Corners Development. And as I see this room full of people so excited to be here, I think about everybody that's made this project possible. So I'd like to ask really quick just a show of hands. Um, any of the artists here, if you look at a man, fantastic. Residents. Legal, acquisitions, construction, architects, designers, everybody here. Well, thank you so very much. Um, it's because of everybody's hard work that we're here today. And uh, speaking of hard work and making these kinds of projects possible, I'd like to start the program by introducing Mr. Robert Farino, uh, President of Madison Construction. kind of a homecoming for me. When I started Madison Construction in 2001, uh, I was the only person at Madison. And my first job was literally across the street at Harold Washington Cultural Center. Uh, I built a little sound studio in the, it was a little hundred thousand dollar project. And at the time, it meant the world to me. It was the very first job. Bobby McGee at Two-in-One Contractors was acting as my mentor. Um, on the project, and uh, we've had a lasting relationship ever since. And it's really wonderful for me to be able to come back and be part of the development and the construction on the project in a community that I really believe in. I wanted to say thank you to a, a number of people, starting with the workers, uh, that actually put this project together. We're very proud of this project that 70% of all the labor hours on this project were performed by minorities. People. People from this community, um, working in this community, I say it all the time, if we're fortunate enough to be working in a community, we're going to involve people and companies from the community. And 70% uh, of all of the labor was by, by uh, minorities from uh, uh, the city of Chicago in some of the suburbs. Um, also, on the hard costs, um, we, we far exceeded the standard goals. On just the hard cost, not the management, but the hard cost, the work actually performed, we also hit 70%, and I'd like to thank all those companies on uh, minority and women participation on this project. Working our way um, through the contractors and uh, our partner on this project as a general contractor was Lee Reed on the Revere property. Um, we have a <laughs> Lee and I, we, we are involved in several projects together, including the hydroponics where we're trying to get people to eat a little better and, and uh, get more people back to work in the communities that we're involved in. Uh, the architects. RAP Architecture did a great job on, on this project. Um, and all of us. <laughs> and all of our partners on the development. Uh, everybody at Three Corners, Annette, Christopher Woods, Matthew, just countless hours pulling this together, along with Revere Properties, um, the Near North Arts Council, and finally the Gashards, who are investing their whole life in this building. I know I'm going to miss a couple people, but uh, certainly Mercy Housing and the NSP program that took a building that was, was sitting here vacant for over 20 years, saw the value and invested part of the neighborhood stabilization dollars into this project. Thank you, Mercy Housing. This project would have died at least a dozen times if it wasn't for her support, her drive, and her vision. It's amazing what she's doing in Bronzeville, and I'm very proud to be a small part of investing in Bronzeville 
and we will absolutely do further developments here uh, under her guidance and leadership. Thank you all very much. Prior to the Great Migration was a, a dairy, 
and then after that it was the Jones Brothers department store. What we are trying to do is bring back that life of business within our community so we have someplace beautiful to go. Rob has empowered us to do 
develop in, in, in all of Chicago communities, and specifically Washington Park, in Austin, and Rogers Park, and now here in Brownsville. Without his support, resources, and leadership, we could not have accomplished what we have accomplished in this project. So thank you, Rob. A big shout out to Andre and Francis Kishar. Spaces that to, to fully optimize the vision of the RFP, we needed a bridge to the arts community. And Andre and Francis are that bridge. By taking the risk of relocating Gallery Bichard to this project, being residents themselves, and serving as mentors and stewards to the arts community, we have no doubt that they will write many additional pages in the, in the rich and storied tradition of the Roundsville Arts Community. Uh, Mayor Emanuel, uh, we have our project. BAL, like all other important work advanced through the Chicago Neighborhood uh, Stabilization Program, <coughs> represents what is possible when community leadership, private enterprise, and public resources are leveraged together. Such possibilities start with leadership. Speaking of leadership, Alderman Dahl, we thank you for your guiding hand in this project. All of us here today are on the grounds, though, and that optimism is not just because of this project. Anybody with eyes to see can see that Brownsville is on the move. BAL stands on the shoulders of all the great works that Alderman Dow has, has brought forward as a part of her vision for the revitalization of Brownsville and the third ward as a whole. We thank you again, and now all of you Um, your pizzazz. Um, I think you came in and added some pizzazz. 
success to this project. Thank you. Um, you've given the building more character. You've made it energy efficient. And uh, according to Bob, he says that it's going to last for 100 years, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> but art and culture are the way to bring down the economic revitalization but a sense of a community like no other investment. And while this is no doubt going to bring artists together to live and to work, it will revitalize 47th Street, which is true to its past. And most importantly, it's going to be the way we revitalize the neighborhood true to its future. Because Bronzeville is a city within the city. I always refer to Chicago as the most American of American cities. And Bronzeville is a city within the city. It is where you bring artists together. You can hear the past. You can obviously hear Louis Armstrong. You can hear Catherine Graham at the Regal Theater. You can hear Gwendolyn Brooks, her poetry. And you can also hear Richard Wright's prose. I cannot think of a better place to kick off the revitalization of Bronzeville on 47th Street but with an artist's love, not just any building. The building that brings together the creativity, the imagination of the people that make up the city of Chicago. And if you think about our neighborhoods now, and you think about the investments we want to make, I'm very excited about the task force. I'm really enthused in Mariano, so the fact that we have grocery stores in our neighborhoods so people don't have to drive to travel miles away to get the basics with their family. But I'm most excited about the fact that in this vision that Pat had, she could see Bronzeville, not just in the past, but imagine it in the future. And she decided to anchor it, not with just anything, a place where people live, work, and create art. And that's a great testament to Pat Dowell's leadership and to all the people that are involved in reinventing the public space, our artist's loss. Let's cut the ribbons so we can get excited here.